If you want to know whether you need chin lipo or a deep neck lift, check out this video. My name is Dr. Sagar Patel and I'm a Beverly Hills double board certified facial plastic surgeon and I perform tons of both of the procedures. And it's very difficult for a patient to figure out why they're being recommended one versus the other. Now in general, you have to understand a little bit of the anatomy to understand why we would do one over the other. And you can check out this video here where I talk about the anatomy, but the bottom line is that our neck has two layers of fat, one on the outside side that things like lipo can target and one on the inside. Now some people, and I would say a vast majority of people, just being really aggressive with the outside layer can get you good enough results that you may want to just consider doing that. Considering that it's an easier surgery, can always be performed under local anesthesia and generally has an easier recovery. Now with the deep neck lift, we're going to almost always get better results. We don't have to be as aggressive with the outside layer to get good results. And then we can turn those into great results by really sculpting and contouring the inside layer, which for some patients is the majority of the problem. Now the way I assess this is that by having patients flex their platysma muscle, which is the muscle that separates the two layers by doing this. When you do that and you feel what's on the outside, deep out superficial to that flexion tension of that muscle, that's what lipo is gonna target. If the majority of what's there is not that, then you probably need the deep neck lift. So many patients have had lipo and are unhappy with their results, and that is primarily not because of the surgeon, but because of the surgery. What was needed the entire time was a deep neck lift to remove that internal fat, trim the submandibular glands, which are these little balls and spit glands on the sides, and then bring up and tighten that muscle. Oftentimes, people who have shorter jaws and chins are people where the fat tends to accumulate deep, and in those circumstances, we really wanna contour that area in addition to doing some work on the outside. Now, when it comes down to it, the deep neck lift is something that is gonna be a bigger surgery. About 50% of people are gonna to wanna to go to sleep for the surgery or have some serious sedation, and you're gonna need drains for about a week. Now, that being said, the results can be better. The recovery is gonna be a little bit longer while you have drains and have a little bit more discomfort, whereas lipo, you're gonna mainly gonna have a headband that you have to wear from anywhere from one week to two weeks, depending on your age. Both surgeries can get you great outcomes. Make sure that your expectations meet the outcome of that specific surgery. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please leave a comment below, ask me any questions, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.